The next speaker up is Mrs. Uh, Heli Tirmaklar. Uh, she is the ambassador at large for cyber diplomacy at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, here in Estonia, they, we, we promote uh, Estonia's interest in the world, develops bilateral, multilateral relations with other countries, contributes, uh, contributes to the joint activities agreed upon in international organizations, and of course, promotes the development of a free and secure cyberspace. Take it away. Thank you, Laurie. Um, uh, well, um, I'm very glad to present the Estonian views on cyber diplomacy at this uh, web um, event today. And I'm also very glad to be again here in this um, uh, Estonian studio, which we call Kulturi Katel, where uh, last Friday we were holding the meeting uh, of the Security Council on cyber diplomacy issues. So it was a virtual meeting that um, Estonia had organized together with um, co-organizers uh, from other countries, Belgium, Dominican Republic, Kenya and Indonesia. And uh, as part of our uh, Security Council um, membership in 2020 and 2021, Estonia has put uh, cyber diplomacy issues uh, at the questions of norms of responsible state behavior, international law, uh, and confidence building measures also uh, to the agenda of the Security Council debates and um, and this first informal discussion uh, that took place uh, last Friday um, uh, for us was very important since we have been uh, over the 10 years, over the past 10 years, we have been uh, quite um, intensively uh, mainstreaming the issues of international cooperation and cyber diplomacy into the um, different international organizations. Uh, some of you might remember or maybe read from the books, if you are very young, you, you don't remember the year 2007, when um, Estonia became the um, uh, first country in the world that experienced the large-scale uh, coordinated cyber attacks. And uh, in 2007, we found out that there were very few international um, frameworks, mechanisms um, that could be used in order to um, have um, uh, assistance or uh, call countries for more responsible behavior or um, talk about the cyber issues at all at the international level. So um, after this um, event, Estonia has um, decided that we will do um, uh, uh, our international priorities in uh, cybersecurity um, as a major policy um, uh, priority. And uh, since the 2008 Estonian National Cyber Strategy, we have started to raise the issue of cybersecurity in uh, all international organizations where Estonia belongs to. We did it in NATO, in the European Union, in the OSCE. Uh, we took part of the United Nations First Committee group of governmental experts uh, that took place in 2009, 2010, 2012, 2013, uh, 2015, 2014, 2016, 2017, and now in 2019. So um, we have been, um, um, in a way, um, witnessing in last 10 years how cyber diplomacy has now gradually mainstreamed into the dealings of the major international organizations. And uh, as of now, as uh, we speak in 2020, um, we already have um, a number of different fora, a number of uh, different mechanisms. We have two sets of confidence building measures in the OSCE. Uh, we have the norms of responsible state behavior agreed in the UN First Committee. We have um, the commitment of the countries to um, um, stick to international law when they are uh, uh, planning the operations in cyberspace, which we agreed already in 2013 um, uh, in the UNGG report. So basically we are now um, in a, sta in a um, stage where we could say that the glass is half full when it comes to... Um, cyber diplomacy issues. Of course, there are still many um, 
priorities left and we have to work hard in order to make sure that um, these global norms we have been agreeing uh, at the UN level will be also implemented. And also um, we should make sure that the confidence building and capacity building measures that we are talking about will be implemented and there is a great role for regional organizations to make sure that this um, implementation work is, is going forward. Um, so as we speak now, of course, there is a um, major global crisis and all the international organizations have stopped their working groups and gatherings and, and other conferences that we have been agreeing to have beforehand. Um, we have had the um, meetings uh, with our um, small group of cyber ambassadors and uh, internationally and actually some of us uh, pointed out very cleverly that it is not only negative that we have suddenly this time to think about the future, to plan and, and do some longer term planning. And I think the priorities for longer term planning for us clearly uh, are, um, are there. Uh, as for Estonian cyber diplomacy priorities, we um, will continue to contribute to the UN Security Council uh, uh, from the angle of the norms of responsible state behavior, from international law and, and the new technologies um, being used um, uh, in the uh, sphere of international security. And of course, we are also working uh, quite heavily on the European Union and NATO issues in cyber uh, security. In the European Union, uh, we should be implementing the um, cyber sanctions regime, which we have adopted in 2019 and, and have been preparing now uh, for some time. Um, in the uh, NATO framework, uh, uh, Estonia uh, was uh, to organize the NATO Cyber Pledge Conference in this April. Uh, but of course, since the air travel is a bit difficult right now, so this has been then now postponed uh, to the fall, uh, but this pledge um, conference will be discussing the supply chain issues in military cybersecurity. Uh, that seems to be one of the um, uh, topics of the, of, of the day uh, currently. Uh, so um, we are also uh, quite busy with capacity building um, as we see the implementation of the normative framework of state behavior, confidence building measures and international law also depending on the capacities of the countries that are, we are expecting to implement these uh, elements. Um, in order to make sure that there is a more intensive capacity building going on, um, Estonia has put together a consortium uh, of the countries that has um, been forming a cyber um, a security network for, for the European Union capacity building project. It's called EU CyberNet. Um, in addition to this um, coordination project that uh, brings together the different EU cybersecurity agencies and, and specialists and experts, um, Estonia also int uh, intends to continue its capacity building outreach to uh, our partners in Asia, Latin America and Africa uh, with whom we have had quite uh, long-standing uh, relations um, since 10 years already. And, and many of those countries um, outside of the more technologically advanced um, regions are looking up to Estonia uh, as a model for e-governance and also cybersecurity. So we um, now are using also this time to sometimes virtually do the seminars and conferences for those countries. Um, so, and last but not least, it's quite important that we continue our work uh, within the Freedom Online uh, Coalition, as Estonia is one of the founding members there. Um, we have been um, successfully uh, adopting several uh, statements and several um, uh, uh, other um, uh, work streams within the FOC last year, and, and we intend to go go forward with this. Um, and also it is important to pay attention to um, responsible behavior during this uh, COVID-19 crisis right now. And we have been calling out um, um, 
the um, actors which had been organizing the um, cyber um, attacks against the hospitals. So the, our foreign minister, Urmas Reinsalo, issued a statement on 20th of April condemning the attacks against the Czech hospitals, uh, for instance, and other uh, hospitals in Europe um, that experienced cyber attacks. And, and this kind of um, um, political statements condemning the malicious behavior in cyberspace are very important currently because we have to discourage the uh, those actors that are not um, keeping the responsibility uh, uh, against our common uh, health infrastructure here. Um, so um, thank you very much for uh, the um, organizers and I think my 10 minutes up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we will have time to speak to you at the panel as well. Just one one question mm -hmm. before you go. Um, when we're talking about cyber norms, then, you know, um, to make this very clear, for example, a cyber norm could be that that the United Nations or some other big, uh, larger group of countries decides that, you know, attacking somebody else's uh, critical infrastructure is a no-go, for example. Mm -hmm. There have been calls during this pandemic to specifically avoid healthcare uh, sectors, uh, so on. Do you think this would be, you know, a good momentum to achieve some sort of a consensus between the countries that are usually not agreeing with each other in the United Nations format to actually find a substantive way of agreeing that, hey, this is not a good time and the healthcare sector is a really good place to start with, with a, a common goal? Well, I would certainly think that uh, we should be uh, drawing attention to the fact that the uh, um, healthcare sector and other critical infrastructure, especially during the global crisis, should be uh, off the limits when it comes to cyber attacks. And, and we hope that all responsible actors will also uh, keep this promise. But we already have this norm. We just have to implement it. So, But of course, I would just sign, uh, sign up to this uh, norm. All right. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you.